like to call this meeting of uh, July 13th, council meeting to order at uh, 7.35, sorry. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we give. forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Kathy Rager, second by Dave McKay, be resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region approve that the following bylaws be introduced, read, dealt with, numbered, signed by the Mayor and Clerk, and sealed, and recorded in the bylaw book. 1. 16-07-877, appointing signing officials. Discussion. All those in favor? Carried. Number 2. 16 -07 07-878 amending bylaw 23-92. All those in favor? That's uh, Joe Kowalski. What did I say? Yeah, that's what I said. 1607-878 amending bylaw 23-92. Amending Bylaw 9-13, Cadbrook Farms Limited. All those in favor? Discussion. Sorry, again. Uh, Councilor McLaughlin first. Uh, I'm wondering in there, I, I would be in favor of option. Oh, okay. we need okay. to put that on that. Can read that again, guys. Nice. Number 3-1607-879, amending bylaw uh, 98-13, being, I got to put that in there, e option number one. Uh, discussion. Uh, 
that what you will. I've got a reminder of all that I've read through the last six months that the government uh, our taxpayers to try to understand what's going on at home. And it doesn't speak in there to anything which, I mean, I, I know I question, get into that, I, I question a lot of the legality of the official plan because of those reasons. But my question was going to be, so option one, just to confirm, does not require the study. That and ready to read it again. Okay. You went to the first slide. Are you on? She went to school. <laughs> okay, try her again. <coughs> okay, number three, 16 07 879, amending bylaw 98 13, being option one, no archaeological study required. All those in favor? Carry. <laughs> family enjoy that land forever. Well, no, no, we go right back. Lick up as much of this stuff as we can. Okay. Moved by Dave McKay, second by Kathy Rager, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region adopts the minutes of June 22nd, 2016 regular council meeting. All those in favor? Oh, it's a question. You, you gotta use the whistle. I, I don't think it's a council meeting. 22nd is Wednesday. Uh, so. Okay, I'm sorry. Council is Wednesday. favor? We're going to pass it as a whole thing. Just leave it open in case we're not quite right. And then we'll go, oh, sorry, get, get, get. We're ratifying this in council, these meetings, these minutes. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You slapped me on the No, I think I, think I was wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Moved by Kathy Regier, seconded by Dave McCoy, be resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region adopts the minutes of the June 24th special, the 2016 special council meeting. Any questions? All those in favor? Carried. Moved by Dave McCoy, seconded by Kathy Regier, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region approve the attached schedule of general, general accounts in the amount of one million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Dave McKay, seconded by Kathy Regier, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region approve the attached schedule of general purpose accounts in the amount of $1,991,011.06 and water fund accounts in the amount of $2,633.99 for the period June 1st to 30th, 2016, and that the above accounts be paid. Any questions? All those in favor?
Kathy Rager, seconded by Dave McKay, be resolved that the Council of Township of Whitewater Region receive and file departmental reports. Anything to add to your report, Marcia? Any questions to Marcia on her report? Very good, thanks, Marcia. Uh, Bill, anything to add? Just one quick thing. Um, we'll have a full report for Council uh, coming very soon, but we entered the Cobden Public Works garage today and found that the sidewalk machine for Cobden had caught fire during the last period of time. We don't know exactly when seems to be a wiring issue and we've sent it off to the insurance adjusters. So I don't have a whole lot for you right now as we just found it today around lunchtime. So um, we don't have what it's going to cost to fix it or how much damage there actually is. There's quite a bit. I don't know how the whole thing didn't burn down to be quite honest. So um, as soon as we get more information back from the insurance company and do our investigation, I'll, I'll have a full report for you. That's uh, sad. Uh, we have 100% uh, replacement value on our equipment. No, no, okay, thanks a lot, Bill. Appreciate that. One question. Uh, I'm so interested. Uh, well, I don't know if this falls under your jurisdiction, but I think it went to the county. There was a uh, stop sign, or a couple stop signs out on the English Brumley Mine. Gore line and the pause right. They were installed last week or the week before. Councillor Mackay. Bill on the car line and Grand Settlement Road. Can't see a stop sign. Gail Black brought that to my attention today. That's what quite a bad action. If you have things like that, just see me in person. It doesn't have to come to council, Dave. Okay. Councillor McLaughlin. I'm going to ask this question, Bill. Maybe it's the first time I noticed that the boat launch signs were put up. Yeah, those were put up um, during the spring and early summer, um, just to d identify the different boat launches that we have in the region. Um, I think most of the boat launches have been done now. We've got maybe a couple more to do. We had one put up at Garden Lake, and within a week it was thrown in the lake, so we put a better one up, and then they burnt that one. So. But anyway, the one at the Curline going to uh, the Ottawa River, it looks good. That yeah. was my main. Not yet. Not yet. No. Any further questions, uh, Councillor Mackay? Just, just, just leave it on when you get uh, it on. I just wondered if, uh, Bill, you're going to be able to put calcium on the track of the airplane. Yeah, I talked with uh, the arena manager, and we're going to do some work around there. Add some of what we're going to. Uh, put some gravel on where the pole holes are and then uh, hopefully this week or early next week get some calcium down the track for the future. Yeah, I don't think it needs a gradient. Okay, thank you. Councillor Mackay. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Councillor Mackay, I'm going to essentially have you, Bill, and I, I know this falls under Doug since he's not here. Uh, is everything, I, is there any issues with that kind of turning lane on the highway or are you involved in that? No, I'm not involved in that. I'm not aware of any either. Uh, Steve, have you got anything to add to you or uh, no, Mayor Johnson? Any questions for uh, Steve? Thank you, Steve. Okay. Fire Chief Ebner, have you got anything to add? I do. Perfect. Go for it. Are you sitting down? Coffee? I, I believe I am. <laughs> uh, a number of items. Uh, you can see by my report, uh, fire was extremely busy in June. 
Uh, reading and eating the later today, I mentioned er, er, alluded earlier to the Bonshire Provincial Park had a fire. I think we should pay attention. Uh, one of the things I wanted to just briefly mention, I I know there's issues out there with other departments, and on the weekend I had a great visit with one of the managers of the MDF plant. Uh, two things. Uh, on June the 2nd, our, uh, we had the furniture factory fire, and uh, early in the morning of June the 3rd, the MDF plant burnt. And just to make council aware, uh, we put an offer through in the early hours of the morning. Our tankers were full. We offered it to Laurentian Valley. Um, we have a number of Whitewater residents that work there. So we, just to let you know, we were being good neighbors that we did offer tanker service to them. Uh, but my main thought, but talk about the, uh, the 911 call that went in that night. And I think, I know it's not new to Whitewater, but I was a little surprised when I heard it from Laurentian Valley. Most fires, people do 911 by cell phone. Their call went to Hawkesbury, and there was no, I don't, there was no bilingual people. They could not communicate with the manager who placed the 911 call. Now, I'm not 100% sure. They, they couldn't, they, they, there was a big delay while he tried to explain that morning what happened. I'm not sure if Laurentian Valley hung up or Hawkesbury hung up on them, but the gentleman had to phone his wife at home to get a landline to phone 911 from a landline and give the landline address. So just to be vigilant, I know Mr. Mayor, you have talked about it, you and Hope are working on it. I think it should go to the county level as well. It's a bell issue and uh, I was made aware of it this past weekend. That was a serious fire and 911 on a cell phone goes directly to Quebec, whether it's Whitewater or Laurentian Valley. I, I probably believe part of Pembroke too. The other thing I just want to briefly mention that the council is, is driving through the township, you will see uh, the village of Haley's, that the Haley sign, you will see fire ban uh, signs we've been, had them uh, constructed and, and we've placed them in all areas of Whitewater and we have staff to drive around when the ban is on or off and they will place the sign on. I think that was, that was a good move on our part, Mr. Mayor, that uh, gets more uh, of, of the residents used to seeing those signs on their township side. I, I agree with that 100%. Uh, going back to the cell phone, that is already, uh, county is helping us address that at the present time. They've been on that for four months actually. So uh, we're doing everything possible. We don't seem to be getting a lot of people listening to us in the right spots, but that'll come. And uh, those signs work perfectly. That's the first thing I see when I was, I'm the 911 though, I'm glad Mr. Mayor that somebody's working on it because I, don't, I think nine, from the calls, that I'm, I'm on the communications committee with the county on the fire side and most of our calls come in by a cell phone and uh, I, I don't think people are quite aware that if you're along that corridor it will go to the nearest tower. That's all I want to mention Mr. Mayor. It's on our agenda, but I need to also bring it to your attention we have in the past. Okay. That, uh, it, um, it is going to be on, a, on an agenda then with the uh, protective it, services, is it, that correct? It, it will be. It is my intention. Okay. It is the next truck to be replaced. Um, I believe the treasurer will also, I believe the one that the, the former truck, or the truck that's in, in Westmead has paid off. 2017. Is there, well. I guess my big question is, is there a problem with the truck that's in Forces Falls at the moment? There's always a problem with that truck. It, uh, uh, it, anything can happen. It's rusting out. It's, it needs to be replaced. Okay. Just, but it's, but it's still a it first does the job line yet. pumper? Yeah. It does the job yet. I think that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. As long as it's still a first line pumper because we don't want to go through that discussion again. Thank you. for uh, Fire Chief uh, Ebner. Reed Miller, do you have anything to add to your... Uh, or no. Any questions for Reed Miller? All right. Move 
by Kathy Rager, seconded by David McCoy, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region <coughs> receives and files departmental reports from Treasurer, Public Works, Chief Builder, who isn't here, so we'll have that one, Environmental Service Manager, Fire Chief, and Reeve, all those in favor. Carried. Terry Miller, moved by Daryl McLaughlin, sorry, seconded by Kathy Regier, be resolved that the Corporate Services Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region appoint the following signing officers, General and Water Accounts, Marsha Hawthorne or Erica Rice, and one of the following, Hal Johnson or Charlene Jackson. Cobden Recreation Account, any two of the following, Marsha Hawthorne, Erica Rice or Charlene Jackson. All those in favor? Carry. Moved by Dave Mackay, second by uh, Chris Olmstead, be resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region rescind the bylaw number 16 01 840 dated on January 20th, 2006. Dave McCoy, seconded by Chris Olmstead, be resolved that the Environmental Services Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region approve the invoice submitted by Cobden Waste Water Treatment Plant Upgrade Project Manager JP2G Consulting in the amount of $19,589.41. Any questions? All those in favor? Carried. Moved by Kathy Rager, seconded by Terry Miller. Be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region agree to allow the Valley Gospel Chapel to utilize the Cobden Municipal Park from July 30th to August 8th, 2016, inclusive. The tent is to be erected on the same location as 2015. An agreement is to be signed with the Township and a copy or certificate of insurance from the insurance company uh, indicating coverage for the meetings is to be provided to the township and to provide locates. <coughs> Any questions? All those in favor? Harry. Township of Whitewater Region, closed session, date July 13, 2015, moved by Darrell McLaughlin, seconded by Kathy Rager, be resolved that. Council of the Township of Whitewater Region went into closed session under 2392 of the Municipal Act at 8 o'clock p.m. Personal matters uh, to be discussed are personal matters about an identifiable individual, including municipal or local board employee. All those in favor? Carried. Now, if it's, we want to do this within my office. Oh yeah, the staff has to be gone too in this one. Yeah. So we're going to do this in my council chambers. Have you got it? 
has to be just. No, you guys are uh, off your uncle. Have a good evening. Keep putting out fires, that's all I can say. 